Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool hover effect that will show text over an image when you hover over that image with your cursor. Now, I want to specify this is specifically for an on-page image. This is not a gallery block. This is not a blog summary or the product. Those have different image names, and I have tutorials for each one of them scheduled to launch in April 2020. So this tutorial is specific for an on-page image, and it's super easy to create. I'm going to walk you through this step by super simple step, and the codes that we're going to use in this tutorial are beneath the video. So after you watch the video, you can copy and paste those on your own site and make them your own. So let's hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site. And the first thing we're gonna do is add an image to the page. I'm going to select edit on the top left hand side, and then I'm gonna scroll down to this new blank section right here. Now where we see this little droplet, that means we can add stuff. So I'm gonna click on that and select image. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop an image from my computer, a picture of Gus right here. We'll scoot them on over. Once that's been processed and resized by Squarespace, we need to head over to the design tab and change this caption option. So we have an inline image with a caption below. And what we wanna do is say caption overlay on hover. By selecting that, I'll go ahead and select apply. And if we scroll down, we see we have the option to edit this caption. Let's go ahead and give this a big title and we'll change that text type to extra large heading and Let's add an other line. So now we have an extra line on there. I'm gonna go ahead and center this just for aesthetic purposes. You can change any of the text styles like bold, italic, add a link to it, all that magic right there. Whenever you're done, go ahead and select save. And now's the fun part. We get to head over to custom CSS to customize this hover action. You'll notice when I hover over it with my cursor, we'll see that text, which is awesome but it also has that bar on the bottom and I kind of want to change up the style a bit. So that's what we're going to do with custom CSS. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the very bottom. This is where I'm going to paste the first code that's beneath the video. This code makes the background transparent. It also makes sure that that hover effect bar covers the whole image and pulls it up to the top. So as soon as I hover over this image, now we're getting the text. Pretty awesome, right? Well, let's go ahead and change it up a little bit more because now it's a little hard to read. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the text. Now this part is really important. Remember when we added this, I made the headline an extra large heading and the other part was paragraph. You'll notice I have added H1 right here to cover the headline and I've added P right here to cover the paragraph. If you're using a different text type, you need to change those to match the text type that you are using. H2, H3, H4, all of that magic. But because I use those two, when we hover over, now they're that solid black color that we've just added with custom CSS. Now there's one other cool thing I'd like to show you. While this is great, I think Gus has a little bit of flair, so I wanna rotate that text a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add another line of code that's going to rotate that title for me. So check it out, now it's some pretty cool crazy text. But what about that other line? That's paragraph text. Let's make it rotate in the other direction. I'm gonna say, okay, on this layout caption overlay hover, on that image caption wrapper, if you see paragraph text, rotate it negative 15 degrees instead of 15 degrees in the other way, like I just did with the heading. Now check it out. We've got rotating lines, big old text, and it only shows up on a hover. Pretty awesome, right? So you don't have to do the rotating text. You can make that text whatever color you'd like, and you can change that background to a different color instead of transparent. But regardless of what you do, those main codes that you need are beneath the description or beneath the video in the description below. And whatever you decide to go with, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for this tutorial. I do have a lot more image tutorials that I'll be posting in April of 2020. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can check all of those out. And if you'd like to see my entire video tutorial library, because I have quite a few, head on over to insidethesquare.co. There you'll find all kinds of resources to help you design the best Squarespace site ever. Thank you again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. 
That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.